is a guy you feel strongly about giving you mixed signals, aka playing hot and cold. Does it feel like he swings between being really into you and then hardly remembering you exist? Is this starting to make you feel anxious and insecure about yourself? Well, today I wanna to show you how to stop this once and for all from a place of worth, integrity, courage, and without feeling or sounding needy. It sucks to be in the middle of a hot and cold game with a guy that you feel excited about. It sucks more when you have so much to offer and you're smart. And it sucks even more when this isn't the first time this happens to you. There's four criteria that I need you to really recognize when you connect with men. And I want you to think about the guy you're with right now, the guy who's playing hot and cold with you, guys in the past. How well do they fit in with these four points? Number one is he needs to know what he wants in a relationship. Number two, he's excited about exploring life partnership with you. This is a big one, but most women skip this step and they suffer as a result of it. Number three, he is willing to pursue you. Number four, he's able to pursue you, meaning he's logistically able. He has what he needs. He's not going through a crisis. He's not suffering from the middle of a divorce. He's not in a financial wreck where he really can't focus on anything other than getting his life back up again. Now, if you filter guys through this criteria, you'll recognize that they fail at least one. They are not taking consistent action. Now, I'm gonna divide this video up into sections. The first one is going to be the mindset you need to embody to be able to pull off the second part of the video, which is the one thing you need to do if you wanna stop this hot and cold game once and for all, from a place of confidence, from a place of worth, and also from a place of feeling the best version of you. Hello, my name is Bern, and if you'd like to understand how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulations, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. So first, the mindset. There's four principles I need you to adopt starting today. The first one is excitement is not pursuit. Women confuse this often. You connect with a guy who's charming, he's good looking, he seems to have a great career, he's different, he's mysterious in some way, he feels confident, he's tall. So part of you says, wow, he's got this thing going on. And then beyond all other things, he seems excited to connect with you. He seems to be lighting up when he sees you. He seems to have chemistry with you. Sometimes you give him a mind hall pass because he fits the check marks of what you're looking for but you don't recognize that that excitement is worth absolutely nothing to you if he can't take the consistent actions that an intelligent, conscious man takes when he wants to pursue a woman. Now, I'm taking as a given that you're someone who prefers to be pursued than to pursue a guy. I'm not saying you don't connect with a guy. I'm not saying you don't message him. I'm saying primarily he's the one who's saying, let's make this thing happen, and you're showing up you're going on dates, you're expressing yourself in such a way that he gets the clear picture that you're the woman he's looking for. Number two is a maybe is not a yes. If you learn nothing else but this from this video, that a maybe isn't a yes, your life will change. Why? Because many of you take these maybes as a consideration that the guy that you're into is a potential for you. If the guy that you're into is into you, you will know it, you will feel it, you will see it, you will not be unsure about it. If you're unsure about it, something's missing. I'm not saying it can never happen, I'm saying take this with a grain of salt and step back a little bit because if he really wants to make this happen, he will. You don't have to twist his arm, you don't have to convince him, you don't have to manipulate him, he'll take action. <laughs> Number three is consistency always beats intensity. Here's what I mean by that. I'm not saying you shouldn't connect with a guy that you're really attracted to, but what I'm saying is that many times the intensity, the boldness, the confidence that a guy shows up with at the beginning makes you get confused with the value of consistency. If you're to choose between two men, one who's incredibly intense and another one who's intense but less intense, but is consistent, that's the guy who will hold your hand when you're going through trouble. That's the guy who will partner up with you to take the kids to soccer practice. That's the guy who will put up the Christmas tree <laughs> or do the Hanukkah candles <laughs> with you when it's time. That's the guy who will be a source of grounding energy in your life versus a guy who's 
intense, exciting, but lacks the follow through. Number four, and this is really important, is he's only playing hot and cold with you because you're playing the game too. The hot and cold is a game that requires two active participants. If you're not into the game, the game doesn't take place. Now that you get this, you're ready to hear the one thing you need to do. But before that, I want to help you understand the root cause why despite being smart, beautiful and having so much to offer, you're still single. And for that, I've taken over 10 years of helping women find love into a free quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal the number one reason you're still single. If you want to find your answer, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description, answer a few simple questions, and in 60 seconds or less, you'll get two things. Number one, the number one reason you're still single, the answer to that. Number two, you'll get a report with the number one action you can take starting today that will reverse this trend for you and get you to connect to the guy you want much faster. The number one thing you need to do is develop relational courage. And there's three simple steps that will help you get there. The first one is ask early. There is no need to go on multiple dates with a guy who isn't clear on what he wants or you haven't asked him what he's looking for. Now, he might lie in word, but you'll find out through dating him that that's a lie. <laughs> but if he hasn't even shared with you, if he's not even clear what he wants or hasn't even shared it with you, and here you are two weeks later connecting with him, good morning, good night, and you're feeling some excitement towards him, but he wants something different than you want, then you're wasting your precious time. So make sure that you ask early and often questions that help you understand where he's at, what he's looking for, and what he's capable of stepping into in his life right now. Number two is be vulnerable, direct, and kind. Here's what I mean. Stop playing poker face. Stop being the queen of ice. Stop pretending that you're not into the guy. Just be clear. Put your cards on the table and when he reaches out to you, let him know that you find him exciting, that you find him attractive, that you feel something special when you connect with him, and that you're confused. How's that for a change? Instead of just playing it cold, saying, I like you, you're super interesting, you're different from other guys I've connected with, and I'm confused about this thing. You know, I'm confused about you disappearing for weeks at a time or being super intense uh, when we connect together, but maybe not reaching out at all when, when we're not. Or maybe showing up uh, on dates this way and sometimes you show up and, and you're cold and distant and I'm really not sure what that's about. And step number three is ask for what you need. And here's where you again come clean. I'm looking right now at this specific stage of my life I'm really interested in connecting with a guy who knows what he wants, who's interested in pursuing me, who is not playing games, who has the time and energy to invest as awesomely as I'm able to invest in him. How does that sound? Is that something you're looking for as well? Would you be able to connect with me that way? That's an ask. And you're being kind, you're not being passive aggressive, you're being clear, you're being direct. Now, you're not being needy, you're being conscious, you're being worthy, you're setting a boundary saying, Dude, I love your energy, and here's what I need if you want to continue getting my energy. And he can say yes, he can say no, but he can say maybe. When you train a guy to treat you with respect and dignity, then he'll either step up or step down, but won't continue messing with your mind. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, click like on this, on this video and share with me in a comment what's the number one takeaway that you're getting from this. Thank you, and I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Thank you.